Hi and welcome to a quick overview of Project Planner version 1.4. In Project Planner everything is organized into boards, groups and tasks. A board is a big collection of tasks. You could, for example, have a board for your player related tasks or your bug reports. If you're using a system like Scrum, boards could represent sprints. Tasks are not directly on a board, they first have to be sorted into groups. If we expand on the example from before, we could have a group for player movement, animation, sound effect, etc. If we use the board as a sprint, our board could be something like sprint backlog, in progress, testing, and done. Now that we have our groups, we can begin to add tasks to them, and this is where Project Planner begins to be useful. The task window is where we can view and edit the content of a task. Starting from the top, we have to name our task. This is what we can see in the board window. Then we have description, and below the description, we can add tags and colors. Tags and colors are useful as they can both be used when searching in the board window. Tags are never displayed outside the task window, while colors are used on the board window to create a visual overview to quickly identify tasks. You can also assign assets to a task by clicking on the circle to the right of the AMT object field. You can also drag drop assets onto it. When you then click on the asset, it gets selected and highlighted in the project view. This is a great way of keeping track of the assets that you need to find for a specific task. The next thing we will look at is screenshots. When you add a screenshot to a task, it uses the game view to capture the screenshot. If it is not already selected, it will be so automatically. When you want to view a screenshot, you can click on the view button and a new window appears with the screenshot in. Here you can also open the folder with the image file so you can use the screenshot outside of Unity. The last section of the task window is subtasks. When a task gets too big, you can split it into smaller subtasks. A subtask behaves in the same way as a normal, except that you cannot use tags on it and it is below another task, not a group. As you complete subtasks, you can mark them as completed, which fills up the progress bar and also shows you a percentage in the board video, so you can see how far you are. There are no limits on how many subtasks you can have or how many layers deep they can go. The final task feature I want to show is logging. If you're afraid you might edit or delete a task by mistake, you can log it. This way you can view the content without the option to edit or delete it. You can also not delete groups or boards the task is under. The newest feature of Project Planner that was added in 1.4 is the Code Analyzer. The Code Analyzer can scan your scripts and look for comments that contain specific words. It can also find not implemented exceptions. In this example, it found two things. The first is a comment about changing start to awake. I'm not sure what this is about, so I'm going to click on the Find button. This opens the script and jumps to the line the comment is on. As you can see, the comment starts with to do which is why the code analyzer was able to find it. By looking at the code, I can see that I, at some point in the past, wanted to remind myself to change the start method to awake. If I want, I can do it now and remove the comment, or I can return to Unity and make it into a task. Now I have a task named the same as my comment and the script asset assigned to it. The code analyzer also found a not implemented exception which is great as I don't have to worry about forgetting to implement parts of my code before building. This was all I wanted to show you in this quick overview and if you have any questions feel free to contact me.